One of the most powerful men in Texas wrapped up in a political scandal. Lawmakers are asking the Texas Rangers to investigate Texas House Speaker Dennis Bonin. Good evening, I'm Marie Saavedra. I'm Jason Wheeler. Chris and Cynthia are both off this evening. This all started because of a secret recording and a nasty political fight, and now it is turning into an investigation by the Texas Rangers. WFAA political reporter Jason Whiteley is here with more on this. And uh, Jason, this went to a whole new level today. It, it, indeed, you cannot under state how big of a deal it is. It is a significant development. The state's top law enforcement agency now investigating the new speaker of the Texas House. A House committee voted today to make this move, and it all goes back to that secret recording they just mentioned. In June, after the legislative session, Speaker Bonin met in the Capitol with Michael Quinn Sullivan from Empower Texans. That is a conservative group that says Bonin didn't pursue enough of a conservative agenda for them. Now, Michael Quinn Sullivan, who runs that group, secretly recorded the meeting with, with the speaker, and it's something that Bonin did not know. Those who have heard the recording say Bonin suggested that he would give Michael Quinn Sullivan press credentials to the next session, only if Sullivan and his group would lay off the criticism and then also go after 10 specific Republican members who are running for re-election. Plus, Bonin even reportedly made disparaging comments about Democrats, including State Rep Michelle Beckley from Denton County. We need to know what was going on. Were ethics violations? Was it illegal? Um, the name calling is, I mean, while I was called names, I'm almost 50 years old. I'm sure I've been called names before, not the first time. So here's what investigators want to know right now. Did the speaker trade one thing, or at least offer to trade one thing for another? Did he offer press credentials to the Empower Texans group in exchange for that group then targeting 10 fellow Republicans? And did any of that happen in the House and in the Capitol? Question is, does that violate ethics rules? Does it violate the law? The speaker's office says that Speaker Bonin fully supports the committee's decision to let the Rangers sort all of this out. Now, Bonin is still brand new to this job. He was elected speaker unanimously by all of his fellow lawmakers in January. Even if this investigation clears him, Bonin could still have trouble remaining speaker. He still has to rebuild trust within his own party and ask lawmakers he spoke out against to possibly reelect him to one of the state's top jobs. Back to you.